Hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you guys and showing you guys how to get rich in Minecraft Java Edition. Pretty easy, and it should only take you an hour or two to start to start getting better at the game. Um, on your on your little world there you got. So um, basically, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming your world is probably not very good like mine is. Mine is kind of horrible right now, as you can see. The origin of this place was I was just running around. Uh, I think I spawned from here, but I was just running around, right? I came across this lava pit, which is where the stuff is. I went down, you know, made a portal, a speed run portal, you know, just really quickly. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go mine. So I went to diamond level, got some stuff, and um, I kind of just placed. Okay, so I just got a lot of torches, placed it like mined one block. And then placed a ton of torches and then broke it. Then all the sand fell down and broke. Um, so I cleared a little spacing. And obviously now I'm not that poor. I mean, my man's over here trades for mending, so 24. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, this guy just helps me get some emeralds through sticks. I haven't traded him much. But this is the main one right here. The mason. The stone mason, whatever you want to call it. I think it's the mason. He is so helpful, and you probably don't even realize it. I mean, if you see here, he gives he gives emeralds for nine clay. That is how I got this two stack or like a stack and fifteen emeralds. Um, basically, you just want to run around water sources. Clay is very common, so I mean, you can get it pretty easily. So, um. I'll probably cut back to when I get to a water source. I'm obviously in the desert, so there isn't many, but... Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna cut back when I find a water source, because... I don't wanna waste you guys' time. <laughs> Alright, so, I don't know if I've already looted this water source, but... Um, if I have, there's probably not gonna be much clay in it, but... Let's just check. Um... Is that clay over there, or is that gravel? Uh, yeah, clay, right here. Look at it. Look at all this clay. And each one gives you like four clay, so look. Oh, god. Oh, my gosh, I'm look at this. I'm getting so much clay. Stop mining this tiny amount. And, uh. There we go, 28. That's already like three. That's. Oh, I forgot. I didn't uh, get enough air right there. Um, so yeah. Get, um, get some clay. Not that hard to find. Um, water sources. There's like a 90% chance of having clay in mean, the tiniest amount, but clay isn't very rare. So, I mean, if you if you need clay, I mean, this is also used for building bricks. You just smelt it. And, uh, but yeah, there's probably more clay in here. If I'm be yep, right here. So yeah, as you can see, it's very common. I mean. like my number one way of getting rich in like all my world um, and I have a tip for you if you're gonna sit here and want villagers I recommend you don't go traveling across your world um, I recommend you keep making a new world until you spawn like 200 blocks from a village because um, it's not very fun Especially getting them back in a boat or something like that, or minecart rails, you're wasting a ton of materials for just like a few villagers, and then they could die by zombies, so it's really not all that worth it to spend all the time doing stuff, and then your villagers just die, so, I mean, I'm just gonna head back to my base, but, yeah, what I said, just try and follow that, that's probably gonna help you in the future. Alright, so, now that we're here, as you can see I have like, not many, but, trade those, those, and as you can see I just gained like 10 emeralds, so, maybe 11, but, that was just from like, 5, like, maybe 3 or 5 minutes, like, up to that amount, and then, better way to do it, look, instead of smelting, you can just get bricks. Get the bricks. You can just make some bricks, some brick blocks. And you can build with. So I can just you know, put this here. Whatever, whatever. I'm not building with bricks right now, but just saying. Like you can do that. Um. 
especially at a master's level. This man is really helpful. Also, another uh, heads up to the mason. He tr literally trades andesite. Huh? That's like crazy. That's like a really common ore. I bet you if I run down to the cave, I'm gonna find andesite. So I'll just I'll just get down here. Some gravel. Oh, where is it? Oh, some andesite. Like, it's just so common. You only need 15 for this, so. Um, yeah. I recommend this mason overall. It's very helpful in many ways. As you can tell. So now that we have enough, I'm just gonna run back up here and trade him that. Alright, so now that we're at surface, let's give this man... There you go. Another emerald chilling right there, just with andesite, you know. Um, and obviously you can use this stuff for books. And then that's my second topic. Books. They're very helpful. And you're probably thinking, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, 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 books. I can get those anytime. Hmm, not really. You're probably going to want to start a farm, because obviously... It, okay. Obviously, it helps you quite a lot when it comes to a lot of things. And I know people get sad about, like, killing animals in Minecraft. But, I mean, if you really want to get wealthy, that's a top way to do it. Um, and another main thing that you probably have never thought about. Upgrading your base. Probably don't understand at first, but upgrading your base gives you a lot of self-confidence, especially if you do it well. Um, so if you're base is like, alright, sorry about that, I got, I got a little distracted, anyway, making your base better will just give you a ton more confidence to work on your world, uh, and another thing is just don't give up, like, if, say you got, like, a, say, say something happened in your world, you died with your diamond armor, don't give up, that's the main way that people screw up the world, they sit there and give up the first 20 minutes they play, um, with the bone. you go over here you make a cow farm once you get it good enough you make a uh, sugarcane farm you'll get a ton of sugarcane you can expand it like this so I want it like this far easy you just do that you take it from here it length. there you go put your sugarcane send it by one like that there you go. Now you have a bigger sugarcane farm, more efficiency added into that. And now, all you need to do is wait for you to get a full thing of cows, which should only take around, um, probably 20 minutes of just constantly waiting for them to grow and then breeding them. Once you get a full thing, you should, uh, try to get a sword that has, like, sweeping edge. And then you can get a ton of leather to help you get books to trade for stuff like this, you know, mending, and eventually you can start trading books. Uh, once you level up your librarians, you can trade books for emeralds, which is very helpful. Um, but yeah, those are, those are a few ways that I recommend getting rich in Minecraft, so thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.